Today we'll be working with the online tool Google Charts. Google Charts is a useful tool for quickly publishing some of your data and it's free. The simple aesthetic of these visualizations makes it suitable to communicate all types of data, from fun and lighthearted to more serious data sets. Google Charts is also useful for understanding the data visualization process as it guides you neatly through some of the standard decisions you'll have to make to create a data visualization in a very easy to understand way. We'll walk through the process of taking our life expectancy data set that we've been working with in class and we'll use Google Sheets to visualize this according to our editorial focus. I've simplified things a bit for you and I've narrowed down our potential visualization methods for our three organizational methods of time, location, and category. So, if organized by time, we'll create a line chart. And if organized by location, we'll create a map or a geo chart, as it's called here. And if organized by category or organized by country name, we'll create a bar chart. So, let's begin. To start making your chart, go to the copy of the class spreadsheet that you've been working with. So, we'll start first by making a line chart. Working with Google Sheets to make a chart is pretty easy. First, you highlight all the data you want to use in your chart. And so for the line chart, that's everything here except for the title, the color coding, and the source. So I will just highlight that now. Once it's highlighted, press the chart icon in the top toolbar. So this is the chart icon. And when I press that, the chart editor will pop up. And one more thing to remember actually, let me just move this to the side, is also re remember to include the labels at the top of the spreadsheet. So remember to include country and years when you highlight. Okay, so now we're at the chart editor. And so this is everything that you need to create your data visualization. So you have a few different tabs here in the chart editor. You have the start tab, you have a charts tab, which has uh, some other visualization methods, if you want to look here. And then you also have a customization tab, where you can customize the color and the typeface and the labeling for your chart. But first, we'll go back to st the start section. And to make this line chart, the first thing to do is to select this box here to use row 3 as the headers. And by doing that, that ensures that your data is labeled according to the spreadsheet. So you're just telling Google Charts that you want Jordan and Turkey and Egypt to be labeled as countries, and then you want all of the numbers to be labeled as happening in a specific year. And you can see that when you turn it on and off, this chart, which is your preview of what your chart will look like, changes because um, we're, slow, we're helping Google Charts um, know how to organize the data. One nice thing about Google Charts is that it often recommends an appropriate visualization method for your data, as shown on the first screen down here in Recommended Charts. However, I'm looking for another visualization me method, the line chart, because I'm organizing by time. So, I'm going to look at other visualizations to see if I can find it by selecting the More button. So, if I click on the More button, it just brings me to the second Charts tab here. And we can see Line is right at the top, and that's perfect for me. So, I'll select this then. Okay, so I've selected the Line Chart as my visualization method. And you'll see here that even in the line chart, there's different uh, visualization styles and options that you can also select. 
though I think uh, for our purposes, this is, this is um, our best option. I think it's nice and legible, um, and I think it'll really communicate the, the story um, that I'd like to tell by using this visualization method. So as you see down here, though, you could select other visualization methods, of course. So if you like, just have a, have a look around these different methods and then select them and see how they affect your data set. So you can see there are a few differences that begin to appear as you select different visualization methods. Now, as you click through these different visualization methods here, you'll, you may click on some, such as the pie chart, and if you select them, you'll get a little warning symbol like what you see here. And that means that Google's had a look at your data, and it doesn't think that the data is organized or structured in the right way to create this visualization. So certain visualization methods are suited to different types of data, and your data just doesn't, doesn't fit this. So for our data set that we're working with now, pie charts, donut charts, and any other types of proportional of data visualizations based on proportions, um, they won't really work. And, but Google's really helpful because it, 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 it can tell this and it won't let you select that option. So we've looked around at some of the different visualization methods, but now we're just back to the line chart again. And so this is the visualization method that I want, but my data isn't organized properly. It's showing that the lines here represent years when I want them to represent the countries in my visualization. So I need to fix this. So the way that I can fix this is by going back to the start and looking at some of these tick boxes again to see what additional options I have with the line chart. If I look at these options here, I think I can see uh, where the problem might be for my visualization. So when you click, when you um, turn these different options on and off, um, you can see that the visualization changes here over on the right. And so when I turn on switch rows and columns, I can see that my visualization changes. So by switching on that option, it changes uh, in my visualization, the line represents the country as opposed to the year. And that's what I wanted. So this is a little bit closer to what I wanted, but it's still not quite right. So I need to look at these options in, um, I need to look at it a little bit more closely now. So now I need to look at the other options here. And the only option that I haven't checked is use row three as labels. And when I select that, then my visualization changes quite dramatically. And this is actually the visualization that I was looking for. And so just by selecting use row three as labels, here's what happens. So when it's unselected, it thinks that that row three in the spreadsheet, so right here, is a data point of its own. So there's this line here labeled country, but that isn't right. And so by selecting to have Google Charts use this information to label instead of as a data point, it reorganizes all that data to give me this. So this is what I wanted. However, I'd like to tweak the visual feel of this slightly, change the colors to make sure that they match the advocacy assembly colors. And then I'd also like to highlight Iraq within my visualization to make sure that the viewer notices that the life expectancy in Iraq is going down. And then the other thing that I need to do is think about any annotations and labels. So I will do that now. In order to customize the color and my labels for this chart, I need to go over to the Customize tab. So 
So I will just click on this now. Okay. And so Customize is, is really useful because it offers lots of different ways to fine tune your graphic. So be sure to experiment with all of these options to see how, how it works. So there's lots of different options that you can use to make your visualization exactly as you want it. To customize my visualization, the first thing that I'm going to do is give my visualization a title. And what I've decided to title this visualization is, and you just type it into the section in the customize tab where um, it, it, it get, provides you with the title options. I'm going to title it the Iraq Wars Impact on Life. So I think that just, uh, I'm, I've decided to title my visualization this just to remind the viewer that I have created the visualization to highlight how life expectancy has gone down in Iraq. After title in the customize tab, you'll find legend. So this gives me options to uh, where I can decide where I'd like to place my legend on my visualization. So just by selecting this drop down menu, I could have the legend at the bottom, or I could have it on the inside, or I could just get rid of the legend if I didn't want it. However, I think I'll keep it on this visualization, but I will keep it on the right hand side of the page. Um, so this is there in case somebody needs to uh, see what all of the different colors represent. But another nice thing about Google Charts is that within the interactive visualizations, when you roll your mouse over the different, uh, the different lines here, there are, um, you'll be able to see the country name and the actual data and the year. So that's really useful because it ensures that the data is always accessible. Next, below legend, you'll find font. And this is where you can select all of the, the typeface decision for your visualization. There are, there's a good selection here, though it is more limited than the variety of fonts that you can use on other parts of Google, such as in Google Docs and so on. Now, because I'm creating a visualization for Advocacy Assembly, I have just picked, I'm just going to use the sans serif font, as I think it'll best match Advocacy Assembly's branding, um, the best I can due to this limited, this limited set of options here. So I've just selected that here. And then also, I've decided that for background, I'll keep the background white, though you could change it to another color like gray or yellow or any color that suited your, uh, your organization's branding if you so preferred. But for me, I will keep it white. Next, I'd like to look at the labeling on my axis, my axes, so right here. So what do I need to add here to ensure people that can read my data visualization and understand it? Well, the way that I change these labels here is just by scrolling further down in the customize bar until we hit the axis section. And so first I've selected the horizontal axis label. And so for this, this is right here, I'm going to change this to years, since that's what, what's being uh, represented here by this axis. Then I also need to relabel the left vertical axis. So I will select that by going to this drop down menu. And I'm going to change this to life expectancy. And then in parentheses, years, since it is year-based, but it's slightly different than this type of year down below. And I hit enter, and then you can see that this label has popped up here as well. 
Also, for all of the labels throughout the, uh, the entire visualization, you can change the type formatting. So for these labels, I'd like to make them stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to make them bold. So I'll do that for the left vertical and then for the horizontal. And so I think both of those stand out, and in, they stand out more than these numbers. And so these three parts of the visualization stand out the, mo the most, and I think that's good um, to help the user know where to look for information to interpret this visualization. Now, I'd like to change the colors of the country lines, making Iraq stand out. So, I'm going to scroll down to Series, where all of the countries are listed. This is a little fiddly, but I'm going to change the color of all of the countries to gray, except for Iraq, which will be a bright blue. Okay, so I've changed my colors here. So Iraq is this blue line here. And for your chart, remember that color has meaning in a data visualization. Are there any colors that you think you shouldn't use here because of the color's inherent connotations? Also remember that if you're using different colors to differentiate between different types of data, then make sure that the colors are different enough to tell apart. When I'm done with this, I'll press insert and the chart will show up in my spreadsheet. And here it is. You can also stretch the chart to make all the data fit better. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to make this chart a little bit longer. Okay, and that's my chart finished. Now, what if you want to organize your data by location or by category? Now I'll show you how to make a map with your data. So I'll move this chart over for now. To make a map, highlight both the country column and the single year that you'd like to rep represent on the map. And don't highlight these labels at the top, just what's below the gray line. And then press the chart button in the toolbar. Ask to see more visualizations and select the map. You have two options for how to visualize your data on a map. Using bubbles or just filling in the country with a color. So which do you prefer? I quite like the bubble version as it uses size and color to communicate life expectancy instead of just color so I will select that and then go to customize. First, I'll select the region that best shows the MinUp region. It looks like Africa shows our area the best, so I've decided to select that. Then I select the minimum, mid, and maximum color to communicate the difference in life expectancy using color. So the darker the color, the higher the value. I'm going to change these colors to illustrate this. I'll be using colors that relate to the Advocacy Assembly branding as well.
This chart doesn't offer much by way of annotation. So I know that if I were to publish it on a website, I might have to add my own additional annotation. However, if you roll over the bubbles, there is a label for the data. Now you're all set, so click Insert. And there's your map. Now I'll show you how to make a bar chart with your data. So I'll move this map down below as well. First, highlight all of the data as for the line chart and then press the charts button. Select the use row 3 as headers button and then have a look at the suggested charts below and select bar chart. Next, go to Customize and Change the Colors, add the labels and the title, and so on, just like we did with the line chart. The title will be the title of the spreadsheet. And the annotations are the same. And I'm making them bold. Now, I'll change the colors to match the Advocacy Assembly branding using blue to highlight 2010. Everything else will be gray. I've chosen to highlight the most recent data and keep the previous years in gray as context. And then press insert and that's it. We've got a bar chart. And this is it. Here are our three data visualization options. I hope that wasn't too hard to follow and that you've been able to make a successful data visualization of your data set. Next, we'll go through how to save these visualizations and publish them online.